Beautiful beaches, amazing mountain ranges, tasty food, and luxury hotels, Costa Rica is an amazing place to vacation with the whole family. However, traveling with kids can be quite strenuous and expensive. It is important to know certain details about your destination before traveling in order to create a wonderful experience for the entire family. This is why in this video, we will be sharing with you the complete guide you need to plan and have a successful trip to Costa Rica with your kids, as well as everything you need to know to avoid regrets, have a stress-free trip, and have a memorable time with family. If you like videos on tips for traveling with kids like this, subscribe and smash the notification bell for more. In Central America, there is a beautiful, small, tropical country called Costa Rica. This gem of a country is not bordered by one, but rather two breathtaking water bodies. To the west, the Pacific Ocean, and to the east, the Atlantic Ocean. One can only imagine the beauty and wonders this Spanish-speaking country holds. This video is divided into five segments, the budget, the weather, getting there, accommodation, and transportation. This tropical paradise is a wonder for the senses. It provides beautiful mountain ranges, parks, and exotic beaches. But not many people know that it's also a wonder for savings. When it comes to planning a trip, proper budgeting is definitely essential. The family trip to Costa Rica shockingly costs about $400 to $800 per week. Of course, the price range depends on when you visit the beautiful country and the kind of activities you will indulge in during your stay. Its busiest season is usually during the festive period between Christmas and New Year, so we'd advise you to go some weeks after when the crowd has thinned out and you can get great prices. Apart from the season you choose to visit the country, another important thing to take note of is the country's weather conditions. Costa Rica, like most tropical countries, has two seasons, dry and rainy. The peak season usually begins around December and ends around April or early May. This is when you would want to visit the country, as the weather is hot, sunny, and perfect for outdoor activities. We recommend visiting around May as long as you don't mind some rain here and there. It marks the beginning of the green season. It is also the shoulder season for tourism, meaning it is right in the middle of the peak season and the low season. This means the national parks and beaches in Costa Rica are less crowded around this time, and the surf is really good. Be it by air or land, Costa Rica is fairly easy to travel to. Although people travel to this exotic country by land, a large majority of tourists prefer to travel by air. The country boasts two international airports, one near San Jose and one in the northern city of Liberia. Thanks to these two airports, getting to Costa Rica is as simple as boarding an international flight from your local airport to the splendid country. The cheapest flights to Costa Rica are usually available in May, June, and September to mid-December. For more information about travel and travel costs, check with your local airline. Don't forget to learn about the policies on rebooking. Similarly, getting to Costa Rica by boat or cruise ship is quite easy, as the country is bordered by the Caribbean Sea to the east and the Pacific Ocean to the west, making the country a must-stop for cruises, especially Caribbean and South American cruises. The country's main ports are Puerto Limón on the Caribbean side, and Punta Arenas on the Pacific side. You can also drive to the country if you are coming from Nicaragua and Panama that border the country on the north and south respectively. You can do this by driving through Carretera Intermarichana, also known as the Pan American Highway, or through a network of roads that stretches from Laredo in North Mexico to Buenos Aires in Argentina and conveniently runs through Costa Rica. From Nicaragua, the primary land crossing to Costa Rica is at the Peñas Blancas, while from Panama, the main land crossing is at Paso Canoas. It is important to note that obviously, the duration of your trip is based on where you are coming from, so make sure to pop out your maps and prepare accordingly. Aside from transportation, the next largest expense on your budget would be lodging choices. Costa Rica offers a host of accommodation choices, ranging from luxury homes with breathtaking views and comfort-to-budget homes that provide all the basic comforts of a home while saving you some change. It is important to note the prices change depending on what time you visit the country. The country's accommodation system is perfect for families as most accommodations are based on a double occupancy rate, with children staying for free. Here are some of the best places to stay with your kids in Costa Rica. JW Marriott Guanacaste Resort is a large hacienda-style luxury resort that stands out among the hotels in the Tamarindo area of Guanacaste. 
the beachfront property is the best way to kick off your Costa Rican vacation. It provides spacious rooms, exquisite dining, beautiful pools, spas, and even children's recreation center. This place has everything for everyone. Perhaps you're looking for a more serene and peaceful environment. Then Cala Luna is just the place for you. It is a lovely boutique hotel located on the secluded Langosta Beach. The location is known for its beautiful beaches and serene environment. It offers spacious rooms, a beautiful beach, year-round sun, and a stunning tropical dry forest setting where you can spot monkeys, birds, and iguanas. For families hoping to have a beautiful view of volcanoes and nature, the Spring Resort and Spa is the perfect option for you. The hotel has a stunning view of the Arena Volcano, one of the most beautiful volcanoes the country has to offer. It also provides access to hot springs, fine dining, and activities like hiking, mountain biking, and horseback riding. The country offers many more luxury hotels and accommodation. There is one to fit every budget, so we would advise you to ask your travel agent and book ahead of time to ensure you have a space. When it comes to transportation costs around the country, your budget is only affected by how much moving around you will be doing while in the country. The country offers an excellent bus system with several bus companies operating throughout and heading to almost every destination. San Jose is the main transit hub in the country, and you can travel to most areas of the country from here by bus. Bus fares vary based on your destination. Currently, the most expensive journey in the country, from San Jose to Paso Canoas on the Panamanian border, costs just around $14 as of April 2021. So, as a rule of thumb, you are most likely to spend more than $20 on a trip anywhere. But also remember to talk to your travel agency about this so as to get a more detailed and accurate estimate. It's best to book tickets for popular routes in advance, although you may be lucky enough to get on the buses without reservation. Tickets on most mid to long distance and popular routes are issued with a date and a seat number. Be sure to cross check your dates as you cannot normally change your ticket or get a refund. For those with a heftier budget, a network of air-conditioned shuttle buses is available to transport people around, but it usually costs five times as much as normal bus rides. They are significantly faster and more comfortable and will pick you up and drop you off at hotels. We recommend trying Innerbus or the slightly more expensive Greyline. Besides an excellent bus service, the country offers a car rental system. We recommend this option if you plan to see a lot of the country or visit areas that are not served by public transit. Be sure to take your time and look around when renting a vehicle, as the prices can vary greatly. Most car rental companies are located in San Jose and at or around the international airports near Alajuela and Liberia. Though you can also rent cars in various towns around the country. For example, picking up an economy-sized rental car at the airport from Enterprise for one week will cost about $650. Renting a similar-sized car from Budget in San Jose will cost just over $300. Of course, these prices are subject to change, so it would be best to talk to your travel agent, verify the actual price, and plan according to your budget. Make sure to also account for the prices of gas in Costa Rica. You'll also need to consider the cost of insurance when renting a vehicle, as liability insurance is mandatory. The country also offers excellent taxi services. Taxis regularly do long distance as well as short distance trips and are of decent value if you're traveling in a group. Sadly, we've come to the end of today's video. If this video was helpful to you, check out our other two videos featuring our top picks of the 10 best things to do in Costa Rica, as well as the 10 best places to eat with your kids in Costa Rica. I hope you had as much fun as we did. Don't forget to smash that like button and let us know in the comments what country you want to see next.